it's a uh, it's race day feeling pretty nervous I'm not gonna lie I just want to say before I start this before I do the race rather because I feel like if I do the race and I don't do well then I'm not gonna be in a very good mood to do this <laughs> that I just want to say thank you to all my friends and family and just everyone who's like commented and messaged me and just got in touch to wish me good luck because the main issue I used to have with my my knee is that I used to be very insecure about it, I used to be very shy, I used to avoid all questions and talking about it at all costs. And for people to come forward and say, do you know what, what you're doing is really, really cool and I wish you the best of luck, it kind of gives me confidence and it gives me motivation because, I, you know, when you do something like this, you, you're always worried that people are going to turn around and be like, well, why is he doing it? What? That's stupid, you know, you can't do that. And, and that's what maybe stops some people from doing this kind of thing and stopped me certainly from being comfortable with myself, but all the comments, all the messages, all the calls I've had from people, some people that I would never have expected, and it's just really nice to, to know that those people are so supportive. I just want to say thank you before I start, and sorry if I don't do very well, but thank you, I really appreciate it. Just finished my stretching, need to, well I've got everything sorted now, it's pissing it down, which I'm not happy about, it's going to be super slippery. But um, I think we're ready to go. Just need to get in the car, get all the bags in the car. I need someone to give me a hand with them, I think. Do you, uh, do you need a hand? Got an uncertain future, can see the future because I'm 16. Times are changing. We just arrived. Getting changed in the car park is always necessary. Some things are fading, others just blooming. Yeah. Classic. I don't know where I am going, but I'm going there anyway. Set in the set mode to get a place in a time zone. And I wanna bloom. We out here. Josh Tiger shoes, we are inside the race start, we're ready. In a crude laboratory in the basement of his home. So we're halfway through, I'm not sure the, how the audio is at the moment, yeah. but yeah. it's very muddy, <laughs> very slippery. Okay, so it's about 2.15 now. They started the race about an hour ago and we are just waiting for them at the end of the obstacle course to try and catch up and take some more photos. <laughs> Well done, make it look easy. Determination is great, I'll help you for it. A couple of people here definitely showing us today. 
Oh, yeah, you're showing that here today. Five jump left. There you go. And you've earned your medal. Emily and Oliver will give them a half. Complete the court. Fantastic, mate. No obstacle is too big. Will power will do it. We just finished. Oh, no. Got a shower now. Finished. It went great. We can do the rope climb. The rope was too slippery. Got super muddy, super wet. I think it went positively. I immediately regret that decision. Josh is really hungover, and he just found <laughs> Look how much mud is in my shoes. <laughs> They're going back to London. Fucking smashed it. Hey, just got home, got my medal. Um, so exhausted, really stiff. <laughs> got a few scuffs, I actually got this. I don't know if you see it, there. That's not even from the Spartan race, that's just from when me and Josh took photo, I jumped on his shoulders and then I fell off of them off a hay bale. These are my crutches now, just completely caked. But they held up really, really well. Better than me, probably. But yeah, big thank you to Josh as well. Um, literally couldn't have done it without him. So thanks, Josh, so much. It was wicked. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the episode. We out. Winners always win.